anyone who go to church and um, you know hold at least once uh, in Exodus and then you know uh, <clears throat> um, uh, Moses led all the Israel people into you know the uh, into the you know, Red Sea to go to the Promised Land. Uh, in the meantime, that you know, uh, you know, the uh, Egypt soldiers, you know, chase after them. So now, in this, you know, worst case, Moses point to the Red Sea, then part sea. So all Israel people, you know, cross uh, cross the Red Sea and. The Israel, uh, the uh, Egypt soldiers, you know, try to chase after them. Then they, you know, buried by the by the, in the sea water. When I read, you know, uh, uh, you know this kind of a thing, um, when I was young, then wow, the God is great, and you know, can't depart in a part, you know, uh, you know, sea, you know, then. These days, I think a little different way. My question to you, who create soldiers of Egypt? Have you thought about it? Must be, answer is by God. Then, one of the most most in our uh, uh, important commandment to us is do not kill do not murder now god kill soldiers of egypt you know who created kill <sighs> Now, it's, 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 you know, when you when you think this kind uh, this way, it is sad to us. Now, God, you know, you know, uh, gave you know a, a ten disaster to them uh, to Egypt, and one of the uh, disaster was you know dark you know whole area, while chasing to chasing after Israel people. Why don't you make it, you know, a dark in there? So, could not chase. Oh, there are, you know, there are so many, uh, so many sand there. Let them, you know, was, you know blow the you know, sand into them. Then they probably, you know, uh, stop chasing after them. Then, God does not have to kill them. Why I'm I'm thinking this, uh, this kind of way is when you go to um, a, a King um, a, a Second King uh, six uh, verse eight to thirty three, and there is you know one of the you know a hero in the Bible show up who is Elijah. Now this Elijah, it predict no already. Uh, okay, the army of Aram go to this way, this way. So the Elijah ask, you know, ask. Okay, defend, go over there, defend here. So the king of Aram you know, become crazy. How he know everything? And then he found out because of Elijah, a prophet. So, the soldiers of Aram, okay, surround, uh, surround the castle where Elijah resides. Now, one of his servants, uh, probably in our uh, um, uh, Gesa, uh, report to Elijah.
Wow, look at this one. We are gonna die. You know, he was, you know, <laughs> he, you know, almost, you know, by, you know, you know. Then uh, Eliza opened his eyes. Then here is, uh, you know, uh, here is the you know, uh, castle and the surrounding army. And behind the army, there are army of heaven surround them. Then you know uh, somebody come out. Okay, uh, to uh, to um, the army of uh, uh, army of you know Aram. Okay, I show you. I lead you uh, where you should go to find out Elijah. Then uh, they uh, he brought them all all the way to go to Samaria, and then suddenly they open eyes and they are in Samaria. Now, in this story. God did not care. God won the game. War. I like this kind of God. Now, the, the God we want to know is helping the poor, helping the weak, helping the, you know what, sick, Helping the, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, those kind of weak people. And uh, Israel at the time was weak. Now, Israel is a strong nation now. Now, one of the, one of the uh, main reasons is between the, you know, uh, between the religion, different religion. And then, now uh, the nation of Israel is the last stronger than surrounding surrounding nation. Now, based upon the uh, based upon the religion, strong people kill weak people. Is it acceptable? What's your opinion? Thank you so much.